And here is our first image of Dragon as it's uh, coming back in. This is infrared imagery from the NASA plane that is flying high above the Pacific Ocean. That's a white dot there you see in the middle that is a sort of jumping around a bit. That is Dragon coming back in through the atmosphere. It is still in communications blackout for the next few seconds. That should be ending here shortly. And then Dragon's drogue chutes should be deployed coming up at 10.35 a.m. Central Time, about two minutes from now. Main chutes will deploy at 10.36 with a landing in the Pacific Ocean at 10.44. Go ahead, Don, on two. Uh, yes, I was wondering whether you have any word on Dragon, uh, whether the bird went okay, and I'm thinking it should just about be spliced down by now. Yeah, Don, we're uh, 10 minutes out from splashdown. We had a good deorbit burn and a good trunk separation, and uh, we'll, P-3 aircraft has an infrared uh, lock on the target, so we'll uh, update you as we go along. Any shoots yet, or is it too early for shoots? And it's too early, Don, so we'll uh, let you know when that happens. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot. Dragon's drogue chutes should be deployed at an altitude of 45,000 feet. There's two of them. That uh, will come out and uh, slow down the spacecraft a bit and stabilize it to get it set up for the main chutes to be deployed. Main chutes are deployed about a minute later at uh, 1036 a.m. Central Time. Each one of those is 116 feet in diameter. They are uh, very large. Again, the uh, NASA plane that is providing these images is uh, reporting that there's some clouds in the area that they are flying above. The recovery boat, as well as the airplane that is uh, flying for us, is reporting that the drogue shoots have been deployed. And Don, on Space Ground 2, we're uh, reporting a drogue shoots out. We expect the mains in about a minute. Shoots are good. Thanks for keeping us informed. As you can hear, Don Pettit, a member of Expedition 31 on board the International Space Station, is uh, keeping his ears tuned to the reentry of the spacecraft that uh, he and the rest of the crew bid farewell to earlier this morning. The team here in Houston continuing to update the crew with uh, the information that we have. But again, the drogue shoots have been deployed. 10.35 a.m. Central Time is the official time for that. We're coming up here shortly. The mains should be deployed uh, very soon. As you can see, the main parachutes are being deployed from the video here. Again, Dragon has three main parachutes. They're 116 feet in diameter. Don, on space ground uh, two, we're seeing three main chutes uh, on infrared imagery. Uh, thanks for the heads up. That's good news.
So the team is reporting from the video that they're seeing, just like we are, that the three chutes are in good shape. Dragon is uh, slowing its descent down toward the Pacific Ocean, again landing, and a splashdown there set for 1044 a.m. Central Time, 844 a.m. Pacific. This is Mission Control Houston. We are now five minutes away from the targeted splashdown time of Dragon. The spacecraft is in good shape. The parachutes are uh, fully inflated, slowing Dragon down during these final last uh, couple of minutes of flight. The recovery vessels are uh, on station awaiting Dragon to uh, arrive in their vicinity. The uh, NASA plane, the uh, P-3 plane that is circling overhead, continues to track Dragon and monitor its performance, but everything looks uh, good. The yeah, SpaceX team continuing to monitor Dragon during these last couple of minutes of flight. You see the CEO of SpaceX there, Elon Musk, sitting there on the front row. Two and a half minutes left until splashdown. Dragon continuing to uh, fly as expected. Everything uh, looking good. Everything green. The uh, splashdown area still targeted for about 560 miles off the coast of Baja, California. Again, the recovery vessels are in the area. They've been on station for the last several hours. They're ready to support the uh, landing of Dragon. There is a, a very large barge, a big ship out there that uh, SpaceX uses to pluck Dragon out of the ocean. And the SpaceX team is confirming that uh, Dragon has successfully splashed down at 10.42 a.m. Central Time. Once again, 10.42 a.m. Central Time, Dragon is in the water.